can see, we're here in my kitchen. Uh, still can't get into the scout hall. So, plan of action. At this time of year, we're usually planning for camps, so therefore we'll have to be able to cook. And I'm going to try and show you, to demonstrate how to cook a pizza on camp. Okay, now, very simple. All you need is about half a cup of water, two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of oil. And that's all we really need to get cooked. Okay, so first thing we do is with just ordinary plain flour. One cup. Two cups. That's that. Okay. Now, we better you always need we better table salt. So Same again now. Generally when I do this one I would use a heaped teaspoon of our baking powder. Again, mix in all your dry materials first. Tablespoon. Now, at the minute, this is rapeseed oil. You can use olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, you can use any oil. As long as it's not engine oil, you'll be alright. So, we get a tablespoon of it. Just keep that mixed in. And then, lastly, then, we're just going to get half a cup. Doesn't matter that there's flour in here. About half a cup thereabouts. What we do is we just just won't put it all in yet. We'll just fold this in. See, it's starting to bind together. You know, it's not exact science, but when you're out on camp, you don't have a set of weighing scales with you generally. So, so we're trying to make it as simple and as easy as possible so that we can work out. Like everybody has a cup, so depending on the size of your cup, this should work. Being, let's say, two flour and half water. So, looks like we just need a wee bit of water. Bind this in. Just put another wee bit of water in the cup, but we might need a wee bit, we might not. But if it's sitting there, it's better looking at it than looking for it. So, what I'm going to do is add a tiny wee bit. And then, it's time to start lifting. You can see there's still a good bit of flour in it. I say this only takes a couple of moments, so you can see how quick. It's all coming together. You don't want your dough too wet. There we go. So that's about right now. It's starting to get a wee bit sticky. So what we need to do is put them out of the road. this for a couple of moments just to get all the ingredients in and working. I say if you need an extra wee bit of flour, just it's, it's still a wee bit sticky. 
floor and dry it up. And this here will generally make about four, seven or nine inch pizzas, whatever size. Now, because these are at home, most of these ones have uh, an altar fire out in your back garden. And that's fine. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do this on the open fire. But if you use just even to practice in the house making this, use the do it. Or you can just do it in your own. But I am gonna just show you one here. I happen to just have a wee fire pit outside. That do now is we'll get all this done. Now obviously before you all arrived I had I have prepared um, everything that we need for our toppings and stuff. So at the minute once we get that thing together try and chip it out as best we can remember. and pulling it out. I'm obviously no pizza expert as you can see. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Max Pizzas and the Dodge Vita do a lot differently than this but this is as good as we get especially when we're on camp and at least when you're on camp you'll see just a few basic ingredients you can make your own pizza. Now because I'm going to do this on the far outside I have just cut a wee bit of parchment paper, uh, grease proof paper, whatever you want to call it, okay, just for the pizza to sit on. So, once we get that on there, look at that, it wasn't bad now. Once we get that, we'll just take it right out to the edges, because the edges will burn, because I'm putting it onto the open fire. So, there's one pizza base. That we'll just leave that one just sitting resting there for a second. Now that's it, I have a lot of stuff prepared here already. So in here we have blitzed a can of chopped tomatoes. So I have just to make the tomato sauce. Now in it I did I put an extra few wee bits of vegetables in it to make it just that wee bit tastier. So what we do is we put out our tomato sauce. Okay, so we've added our tomato base. Now I have some roasted peppers and stuff also in that tomatoes. So to just get an extra wee bit of flavour, but you can obviously just use tomato paste, a bit of passata, red sauce, up to yourself. And um, obviously I have stuff here already prepared, so I'm just gonna put a wee bit of cheese. Whatever toppings it is that you want, is how you like it, how you want it. As, uh, I like a couple of wee peppers. I'll just put it on like that. Okay, so that's basically our pizza made. So what we'll do is we need to transfer it now out onto the fire. Now, just as we out, I am going to need these. I haven't thought about how we're going to do this now. Because Okay, this here is our oven, so we we'll have the barbecue lit, heat's coming up, transfer it around into our oven. So, we can lift that up, just bear with me, have a look at the fire. Cat. Coming out, laying our pizza on. 
putting her oven back on and hopefully in about 15 minutes that'll be cooked. Okay, so this pizza dough is sitting resting as I said, if we just cut it in two because we're going to make a family pizza now. So we are, now again, same principle, so we've got a flag, get it down, get it rolled out as best we can. Now, um, as before I said, we're going to put these ones in the oven. So when you're at home, it's probably how you're going to do it. You're probably used to just having a round pizza, but I think I'll just make this oblong because it's easier for me just to stretch it out bit by bit as we go along. So there is quite a bit of elasticity within the pizza dough and that's mainly because of the baking powder that's in it but I'm sure those of you who have done home ec at school will know all about that. Okay, so that's that one done. No. Yes. I'm actually just going to make it straight on the tray I say because this is on the tray, we don't need to use um, the grease proof paper anymore. Okay, so we'll do that pizza there. Again, we've we'll got our tomato base. Chego cheese, um, just for the simple reason, my daughter who is kindly videoing this program for us is allergic to cow's milk, so therefore is allergic to cow's cheese. So manchego is made from a goat's cheese, or a ewe, is it sheep? Sheep's cheese, so it is. So she wants that, and she asked for some ham. I wouldn't just be a professional pizza maker, maybe Sid won't employ me. Again, it's going to be the same principle. I'm um, just making another wee pizza up and um, just put a few different toppings on it. And then we'll go and check to see the progress of our pizza outside. Okay. Hi, right, folks. Right, this here's ready to come out of the oven. So it is. So, that's it by TV magic. We made wages as well while we weren't looking. So, Ah. 
Oh. One pizza. For sharing and caring. Okay. Alright folks, so this here has been in for about 10 minutes or so. And if you could smell it, you would know it. We'll get that for a perfectly cool pizza. So, what we'll do now, we'll take off our oven. I'll go and get a plate. off the back of it in one wee moment. There you go. There's one oven baked pizza on a barbecue. Thank you. Okay folks, so there you go. There's the pizza. It was cooked in the barbecue outside. All ready to eat. And by the looks of this, another minute or so and it'll be cooked in the oven. Just remember to keep an eye on it because you don't want to burn the bottom off. And Hopefully you've enjoyed this scout meeting and I'll talk to you all again soon. Thank you. God bless.